it's me, your pal Kelly Zemnikas, and welcome to episode number 85 of It'll Be Fine. There's a bit of a chill in the air. It's just that kind of, you know, time of year where you need to toss on the fireplace channel, you know, warm up in your mind. <laughs> I'm a big fan of this channel. Big fan. Um, I am so glad you are here today for today's show. We are, we are heading to Latvia for this treat. We are making, and I don't think I'll be saying this correctly, Buberts. B-U-B-E-R-T-S. I'm going to go with Buberts, you know. I asked my dad. My dad didn't know. He's like, I don't think I've ever had that. Um, I've never had it, and I'm excited to make this today. Alongside, oh, a gal I miss so much, my Eastern European sister from another mister, Gina Starsev. Yay! Oh my gosh, Gina is so funny, fantastic comic that I've gotten to perform with at Broadway Comedy Club when I've been in New York City, a city I miss a lot. I miss this gal so much. So I'm glad she is on the show today to make this alongside of me. We got Russia, we got Latvia joining forces to make a fantastic treat. Ooh, this is gonna be a good one. You are in for a good time. And uh, as we have been doing for the month of November, we are offering some love, offering some attention to Red Nose Remedy. Info on them is in the show description. So guys, get ready. We're heading to Latvia. Just gonna cozy up by the fireplace channel for a bit. It's gonna be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So here's what we need for the Buberts. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> All right, so we need flour, we need eggs. Uh, I am choosing to go with oat beverage as I do, but use whatever product you like, milk or alternate. Um, I've got vanilla extract, we've got berries there. You can go with just one style. I am doing a mix, they are just out of the freezer now. And we need sugar, and that's it. Easy. How are you? I miss you. Ah, oh my God. So I am right now chilling in South Florida with a friend of mine. Oh my God. Get jealous. Please get jealous. Please, please, please get jealous. <laughs> Much warmer where you are. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's, it's actually, I, I hate to say that, but it's really nice here. Yeah, it's, um, it, it's nice here. I mean, I'm, I'm a winter fan. I don't know if that's my gen like genealogy and my roots of coming from Latvia, but I like cold weather. So I'm, ha I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there are, there are definitely benefits of cold weather and, and there are definitely benefits of warm weather. Yeah. It's like, I mean, I, I don't mind cold weather coming from, you know, Russia and, and having, you know, lived through like harsh winters, my almost like, um, you know, until like I was 20. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's great if, if, you know, if you have like a fireplace and you make some mulled wine and you're like hugging someone yeah. and you're like having this romantic thingy happening, whatever that might lead to. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> but when you have to carry a huge backpack with like textbooks, yeah. And it's minus 20 Celsius and it's like three meters of snow. <laughs> yeah, maybe not that much. Yeah, you your know? boots get like that wetness inside, even though they say they're insulated. And yeah, it's... no. I yeah. I am pronouncing this as Buberts. Is that right? Um, I would say so. I would like, I would pronounce it the Russian way, uh, Buberts. Um, okay. but I, like I said, it's a Latvian, uh, you know, dish. So I'm not even sure how the Latvians are pronouncing it. And I should have looked this up actually. I called my father and my dad was like, I don't know. I've not had this very often to know how to say it. <laughs> So next time you go to Latvia, I will find out. <laughs> you can find out how 
how to pronounce this wonderful dessert. And it looks so simple to make. This is crazy easy. And sometimes, right. sometimes simplicity can trip someone up a bit. But all in all, I think this should take us about 30 minutes. This doesn't seem crazy. Um, we are using, uh, I usually print this out, but it's on my phone today. We're going to a website called Latvian Eats. Is what we're Ooh. Doing. Um, yeah. And like most things from Latvia, uh, as my dad was saying to me, um, we have a lot of dishes that I would deem to be Latvian, but my dad's like, no, 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 that actually came from Russia or that came from Poland or that. So we kind of like, it's a bit of a melting pot. So we call it Latvian, but we picked from other places. <laughs> Yeah, and actually, as far as I remember, because I, I uh, me and my parents went to Latvia a couple of times, you mm -hmm. know, before the Soviet Union collapsed, yes. and the food there was amazing. The yeah. quality of produce was amazing, and the the, the dishes, this the cuisine was so delicious. That's the thing. We got a really awesome knack of just getting the freshest quality of making the best version of, you know, that fish or that pickle or it, it's great. And I find we go from like super sour to super sweet. We have those two extremes of our foods. <laughs> it's well, awesome. you know, you have all the resources there with, you know, the Baltic Sea and, you know, the fish and also, you know, like everything is there. It's like, it's a little country, but it's, it's, it's beautifully located geographically speaking. Yeah. So they have like the best of all the worlds, like the best of Europe, I think, is in Latvia. I, my father will be happy to hear you say that. <laughs> <laughs> my, parents say, my parents say hello, by the way, because they, of course, have seen us both perform at Broadway Comedy in New York. Yeah. Oh, like, oh yeah. thank you. I say hello back. Yay. Yay. I miss that club. I hope it survives all of this. I think it's okay for now, but I don't know. I haven't heard any rumors about it closing down. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm literally, you know, keeping my fingers crossed so that, you know, they stay up because yeah, it's, it's a fun club to perform. It definitely is. I'm going to um, actually pull my hair so that no hair is going to get Thank into the you. dessert. That is my biggest pet peeve with cooking shows. When I see like these baking shows and whatnot and folks have the hair down, you don't, no, no, hair off. No, you don't do it. You don't want to taste any hair or any hair products in your food. So I'm going to make the ugly bun like this, but it keeps all fine. It's all good. <laughs> the the ugly bun. bun. All right. Any so we are starting this off uh, with uh, my favorite activity. We are going to separate our eggs. Woo! Yay! And then I'm separating the eggs. It's so much fun. And then we are going to play my second favorite game of making stiff peaks. Ooh. Put in a, a mixing bowl. If you've got a kitchen stand or however you're going to do this. This is where the egg whites are going to go. The egg yolks will go in another bowl. We need four eggs. Now you can do you can do like uh, separating of eggs a multitude of ways. I'm going to do it through my hands. I have done it with a plastic water bottle of sucking the egg yolk up. Oh, I've seen this method. Is it really like working? Because it looks kind of cheesy. Well, I I saw the video. I think we did it on episode ten of this show. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think it was up to 10. You gotta give that a real good crunch, right? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah! I did it! Oh, my God! Come on! And you know what? I remember, um, you know, back in the days when I, uh, lived in Russia, it was, you know, a long time ago, but still, um, when you're on the kitchen, like when a woman would be cooking in the kitchen, mm -hmm. um, they would be like using uh, produce to, uh, you know, like make like facial masks. Like they would take a little bit, like they would be making merengue cookies with the um, egg whites and they will take a little bit of egg whites and like put some, you know, like honey in it. And then they like put everything like I remember me and my mom used to I do, do that. it. Yeah, <laughs> you do that because it's they say it's closing your pores 
And I'm like, now that I'm in Florida, my pores went like, whew. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, no, I do that all the time. It makes your skin look fantastic. And uh, oh God, I've been doing that since I was a teenager. Yeah. Oh, it's great for the face. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try this. Maybe, you know, not when I'm filming anything. Making stiff pigs. We're getting there. We're getting there. They're stiff. Getting stiff. I can't hear you. Oh, I'm not sure if you said again? anything. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I can hear I can hear you. It's just this thing is loud. <laughs> I tend to talk to myself. I live alone. I, I don't realize I'm saying things until someone's like, did you say something? I'm like, no. <laughs> Listen, you're a fun person. Why don't you want to talk to yourself? Right? It's like... It's only concerning when I argue with myself. That's, that's when you, you're like, mm. Yeah. But still, sometimes you need to argue with yourself, right? If you can crack yourself up, you can, you can argue with yourself, I think. Yeah, as long as you don't lose. <laughs> All right, I'm going to continue. Get in there. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Uh -huh. then going to to this the egg yolks add vanilla and four tablespoons of sugar okie doke i am going to finish up my egg whites because i'm not i don't think is it supposed to be like soft peaks or hard stiff peak so you want to be able to have that thing like dip it <laughs> so dip it and then turn it over and as long as it stands like i think you're good yeah <laughs> yeah this isn't phallic at all. No? no? Damn it. I was totally going for the phallic. <laughs> um, egg yolks. Yeah. And I'm adding four tablespoons of... Sugar. Sugar. Yeah. It calls for white sugar. I do believe brown sugar would do something a bit different to this. Um, so try to use any kind of white sugar that you got. Um, yeah, I I have like white organic. It's not white white, but it's it says organic. So yeah, cool. and it's healthy. We made this healthy. <laughs> um, and then uh, one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Oh, vanilla. And then we will mix this together. Okay, Duke. That with this. Let's do it. Yeah, and then uh, we're halfway there. We're almost done. I know, right? It's crazy. This is crazy. That's the beauty of simple recipes. And I feel like that's how life should be in general, you know, simple. Yeah. Like, why do people overcomplicate stuff? Why is it like, oh, I have such a complicated relationship? No, girlfriend, he just doesn't like you that much, all right? It's not a complicated relationship. I know. Sorry. No, it's, it's, it goes back to that Sex in the City episode. He's just not that into you. Oh, there we go. You know? I have never watched Sex in the City. I, I love not, it. Not fully. I've, I've watched like a few episodes. Yeah. I, um, I, I still go back to it. I, I, I mean, sure, there, there's some, you know, some things that maybe episodes don't stand up the number of years later, but... I find with Sex in the City, I'll go back and watch a show, and I feel like I'm watching, like, old friends. I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember when this happened. <laughs> I never got into the show. <clears throat> I mean, it's it's bubbly, it's girly, you know. I, I don't know why. Maybe it hit too close to home, you know. What? I Living in New York and, and like, struggling as an artist, and, and I'm like, mm, okay. Maybe I don't have that many Manola Blanique shoes yet. <laughs> Well, I mean, those kind of things, like the shoe thing or in the that series, Friends. I mean, when mm -hmm. you think of lo the logistics of it, of like, how did you afford that? Like, that's just not possible. Nope. Things do not, like, mass doesn't add up. No. Not at all. Um, 
I find I have a very Carrie Bradshaw apartment, just the way the layout of this place is. Like my bathroom connects to the closet like it did in hers, and then it goes through to the front door. Oh, nice. Yeah, you know, and I'm a writer. And I have curly hair. Ooh. Carrie Bradshaw. <laughs> yes. I certainly dated a Mr. Big. That is for sure. Um, all right. Done. Okay. I ha is it supposed to be like this? Yeah. You want like that, like almost um, pea soup kind of texture to it. I guess. Yeah, exactly. All right. So step three is, um, okay. Oh, actually, no. What we're going to do next is take our flour and just a little more than a third of a cup of milk and mix that together. Okay, so flour with all the flour? What's that? Is it all the flour that we're mixing together or? It does say flour. So I'm, because what we're gonna do is take this flour milk and then add it to another part. So yeah, do all the flour, which okay. is. All the flour and. Uh, I'd say it's, it's a, a hundred milliliters of milk, which is just more than a third of a cup. Okay. Yeah. I am choosing to use oat beverage as my dairy. Uh, you can use any kind of milk though. Yeah. How is how is oat milk? I have heard wonderful things about it and I have not tried it yet. I am a big fan of this stuff because to me, texture wise, it matches to like 2% milk quite well. Um, it's got that thickness that cow's milk, as I remember having, has. Um, for me, uh, cow's milk gives me really bad cakes. So mm -hmm. I just find doing oat beverage or... I also really like, um, it's hard to find, flaxseed milk. Wow. It's got that same creaminess. I'm not a big fan of almond and soy milk. Um, yeah, they kind of taste funny to me. Like any nut milk is just, it's kind of like it has that weird taste. And I'm like, I'm not even sure what, and, and then you put it in your coffee and it kind of like flakes a little bit. Yeah, you, which I don't find with this. I find whatever they've done for oat beverage mimics milk like really. Oh, ah, yeah. I should try this. And of course, I don't know if it's like this in the States, but in Canada, we have to call it beverage. We can't call it milk. Right. Because you guys have proper people doing proper stuff at your government. <laughs> yeah, well, most of the time. <laughs> I mean, no one's perfect. No country is perfect. That is correct. But there are some countries that are doing better job at governing. <laughs> Okay, okay. This still looks gross. <laughs> yeah. This is more more liquid. Ew. Okay. Alrighty, I made a mess. I made a mess. Oh, that's what cooking is for. I know. I know. I made a quiche the other day. It looked like a bomb exploded in my kitchen. Dreadful. <laughs> Ah, it's hilarious. Yeah, quiche is, is a, you know, every single time you, you're making a dough, I feel like it's, all, especially like if you're making it from scratch, mm -hmm. that's it. Like half of your kitchen is covered in, in flour. <laughs> There's like meat everywhere. You know, your, your black cat turned white. Exactly. Exactly. All right. So now we are going to take the remainder of the milk, which is about 400 milliliters. So that's what, um, let's check. About a cup and a half, I guess. Um, and you're gonna heat this on the stove, on low. Ooh. And we're, we're almost there, friends. Are you like, can I heat up 
on low so it doesn't scald so it doesn't boil up too quickly. Um, yeah, I put mine on low because I have made this mistake way too many times when you just forget about the milk on the stove. I know. And then the next thing you know, there's a Niagara Falls of milk yeah. on your kitchen. A cascade of foam. A cascade. <laughs> and then what we're going to do once this starts to, um, once this starts to boil is we're going to add the milk and the flour that we just mixed together to the pan. Ooh. Yeah. That the other day I was, uh, I was toasting some nuts um, and um, I, I forgot. So they were, they were a little crispy. <laughs> I, just, I turned around, just totally forgot. <laughs> Oh, yeah. well, I've been doing that a lot these past few months. Like, I just forget things. Just like my whole thought process is just obliterated. <laughs> 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 happens. It does. It does. I'll blame it on being in my 40s. That's what I'll do. All right. Oh, no, don't say that. <laughs> Let's blame COVID quarantine on this. It's all the quarantine's fault. It is. It's not being in my 40s. It's not the fact that I'm perimenopausal. It's corn. It's COVID's fault. Quarantine. Yes, exactly. Okay. okay. All right. I got bubbles. I got bubbles. Woo! So I'm sure like every single guest on your show is asking you this question, yeah. but how did you get into comedy? <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, I have really... My reason for getting into comedy is... Um, Okay, so I got, how do I, give me, I'll answer that in a second. <laughs> you get into comedy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my story is simple. I always been performing in theater and movies and I always wanted to try stand-up comedy and at some point I tried stand-up comedy and then I started to regret that I didn't do it earlier. I hear ya. Yeah, I um, I will answer the question in a second. I'm just realizing. Uh, okay, so I'll just show this at home. You can see this here. So it's all bubbly and porridge-like. Ooh. It's all mixed together. Um, and then um, once this is done, we will then add in the egg yolks. The yolks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, mine is coming up. All right. So whisk and add the egg yolks. So be an octopus. <laughs> Boom. So now I can answer the question of how I got into stand up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yay. So my story is uh, I had been thinking about doing stand up for like my early 30s. I just had this voice in my head that was like, I should go try stand up sometime. Go try it, you know? couldn't figure out where that voice in my head was coming from or why on earth I would do that. And then um, about four and a half years ago, um, I lost uh, my first boyfriend to cancer. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you. And um, what ended up being our final phone call lit this light bulb in my head of like, go do every single thing you want to do because you can James can't. And I went and I did a mic the next week. I was like, fuck it. I have no idea how to do stand-up comedy, but I'm just going to try. And I've never looked back. That's what you gotta do, girl. That's how I started. That's awesome. I mean, it's a sad, in a way, story, very sad. Yeah. Um, but I am so happy you did it. Me too. Me too. He was he was someone in my life who knew I had potential before I knew I had potential. Like just one of those magical people you come across who's always like nudging you or encouraging you and like, no, you can do it. I got, you know, I got your back. You're going to be good. Um, he never got to see me do stand up, but, um, but yeah, that, 
that losing him inspired me to go be brave, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. All right, we ready for the berries? We are ready for the berries. I'm gonna right. put them in the blender. Yes, and you're going to add two tablespoons of sugar. I, I have the sugar ready Done. in a uh, liquor glass. Don't judge me, it's all I have. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> now my, you're gonna blend yours up. Mine I pureed earlier, so hopefully this will work out. Okie doke. Let's do it. How do you say let's do it in Russian? Давай сделаем. <laughs> and the sugar goes in, the sugar. Whee! You know what surprised me about this recipe? Hmm. Not much sugar. No. And I loved it because, you know, what I don't like about uh, lots of desserts, so much sugar, I can't even taste the ingredients. I can't taste the, you know, I can't enjoy it. It's just, you yeah. know, it's just hitting your insulin right away. <laughs> you know? We made a dish on the show recently with another New York comic, Ralph Anthony, um, uh -huh. did a golden Oreo cheesecake pudding thing. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I had a spoonful of that in the show. That's all I could do because it was like someone electrocuted me with sugar. It was like, what? Oh my God. Okay. I'm about to, um, hit the button and it's going to get so loud. Do it. And I've got my berry mixture here. Aww. I think for this recipe, just speaking about the sugar, I think what it's doing is just taking the natural sugar of the berries to sweeten for the most part, you know? Um, I think it's the best way to treat yeah. any berries or any fruit. It has lots of, uh, you know, fructose in general. Yeah. Um, they're sweet. There's, you know, no need for more sugar. No, there really isn't. It's not at all. It's only two tablespoons for like the entire recipe. It's not, you know, six cups. Exactly. Exactly. Um, all right. And then for serving, I'm just going to put mine in this lovely little glass. Because we're ready to, to serve it. <laughs> we, we do. Are we serving it hot? Um, well, it says to, it says to top the milk egg thing with the fruit and eat. So it doesn't say put it in the fridge. Okay. So, uh -huh. All right. Then let's try and do it. Okay. So this is this. So what, yeah, what I'm doing for this, I'm doing about that much, and then I'm going to top it. Um, yeah, with the sauce. With the sauce. Sauce. The sauce. Okay, I need another spoon for the sauce. What I like about this is that it's the colors of the Latvian flag. Aww. <laughs> that reddish, burgundy, and white. So, okay. Okay, so that's what mine looks like, friends. Ooh. Tidy it up. That's, All right. Mine looks like, um, you know, those um, different uh, sands when they put like different sands and make like yeah. sand art. I feel like that's how mine looks like. There we go. So, uh, Prozit, that's cheers in Latvian. Cheers. Excellent. All right, let's take a taste. Mmm. Well, that's good. It's really good. Oh my. That's really good. Mmm. Just sweet enough, just creamy enough. And the texture is so light. Oh, wow. 
This is good. Mm. I think this is going to be my favorite dessert now. This? Oh, this so easy to right. make and yeah. this delicious. You've got to be kidding me. It's, mm. like, it's like a nice little warmed custard and you've got right? fruit. It's not heavy at all, but it's got so much flavor. It, yeah, absolutely. Mm. Oh. And that took us like half an hour. That was it. Mm. You know what's missing? Coffee with Riga Bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have one, so I'm going to be really, really jealous right now. You do realize that, right? Look, and because we're filming this the day after the Latvian Day of Independence, uh, I will have some too. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. Thanks. All right. Put a little, got my coffee. My Ooh. coffee. Here we go. Mm. All right. There we go. Did that for you. <laughs> Good. I love putting Riga Bomb in coffee or herbal tea. Either herbal tea or coffee. Regular tea is not going to do it. This is amazing in coffee. It's I so know. Good. I know. It really is. And it's 45%. So you just need a little bit. It's only 45%. You just, you're just putting the drop, you know? It's medicine. You know it's medicine, right? Yes. That's how this started. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is good. This is amazing. Oh, thank you so much for doing this with me. Oh, thank you so much for inviting me. Oh, my mm. Next time, whenever the hell Canadians are allowed to enter the States, mm. I'm gonna we're, we're gonna make this together and I'll bring the balsam. Oh. <laughs> mm.